हेलो स्टूडेंट्स वेलकम टू अफेयर्स क्लाउड माय नेम इज विकास सो फ्रेंड्स वी हैव एन एप्लीकेशन बाय द नेम कैरियर्स क्लाउड विच यू कैन गो एंड डाउनलोड थ्रू द प्ले स्टोर एंड वंस यू हैव डाउनलोडेड यू कैन लॉग इन विद योर जीमेल आईडी एंड व्हाई आई एम सजेस्टिंग यू दिस एप्लीकेशन बिकॉज दिस इज द वन स्टॉप सोल्यूशन फॉर ऑल द करंट अफेयर दिस इज द बेस्ट ऑफ द बेस्ट एप्लीकेशन एंड द प्लेटफॉर्म वेर यू कैन एनहेंस योर लर्निंग थ्रू हेल्प here you will be provided with multiple courses here you will be provided with multiple options of quizzes and even you here you will be provided current affairs on daily basis pdfs and quizzes will be provided to you on daily basis both in hindi as well as english here you will be provided current affairs with weekly basis and monthly basis also here remember once you have done watching our video then you can log in through this application take out the pdf read that pdf and go through the quizzes that will enhance your preparation same you have to do for weekly and same you have to do for the monthly also in monthly you will be provided with the top 100 important questions pdf and video also that will enhance your learning and it will be a very benefit and beneficial and important video for the revision perspective and not just this friends apart from this we also provide you banking and economic questions we provide you state current affairs such as of uttarakhand up tripura telangana and many more not just this apart from this we also provide you topic wise current affairs and the topics that we are providing you are really important these topics are such as national affairs international affairs important days sports defense science and technology apps and web portals obviously these are the important topics that are being asked in various exams across india so these are the topics that are must and should be covered and will be beneficial for the preparation of the students hello everyone so in this video we will be discussing important current affairs for 3rd of february session will be quite interesting so do pay attention till the end you will be learning multiple things that will be benefiting in your preparation let's start first is national affairs Union Minister Pralhad Joshi has launched C Cares and web portal of CMPFO. What is first of all C Cares? You should know C Cares is a portal that was launched to digitize the records and the work processes of the coal mines provident fund organization. Right? This is the portal C Care that will digitize all the records and all the working processes of the coal mines fund. a coal mines provident fund organization the portal aims to benefit the cmpf subscribers who are working in the coal sector and their pensioners correct take a note of this then this c cares remember this portal was developed and designed by cdac that is center for development of advanced computing a research and development organization that comes under meity and the project was awarded to cdac in march 2023 the portal can be logged in by both coal mines provident fund subscribers and coal companies and the subscribers can access and view their individual details and subscription status and the coal companies can use the portal to submit contribution details subscriber particulars and claim for online settlement and payment right if we talk about cm p f o who is the commissioner of cm p f o vijay kumar mishra headquarter will be dhanbad jharkhand and it was established in 1948 correct so we're coming back union minister pralhad joshi as you can see him in the picture he has launched this c cares that is a web portal of cmpfo and this was to basically digitize the records and work processes of the cmpfo organization next who launched dash to digital model with in sagar setu i repeat who launched to digital modules within sagar setu so two digital modules right they were launched within sagar setu it was launched by whom it was launched by sir bandana sonowal ji correct our union minister of port shipping and waterways launched two digital modules that were named maritime single window maritime सिंगल विंडो मॉड्यूल एंड योर मेरेटाइन मर्सेंटाइल मेरेटाइम डिपार्टमेंट सो फर्स्ट एंड सेकेंड नाउ विल लुक एट दिस एम एस डब्ल्यू वॉट इज एम एस डब्ल्यू एम एस डब्ल्यू इज योर मेरेटाइम सिंगल विंडो मॉड्यूल दिस एम एस डब्ल्यू इज ए कटिंग एज डिजिटल प्लेटफॉर्म दैट इज डिजाइन टू डिजिटलाइज द एक्सचेंज ऑफ मेरेटाइम रिलेटेड इंफॉर्मेशन एंड डॉक्यूमेंट्स सेकेंड 
This MSW module will help the Ministry of Port Shipping and Waterways to align with global standards set by IMO that is International Maritime Organization and the module enables the online submission of documents related to arrival, stay and departure of the ship and communicates it to the stakeholders that are involved in the International Maritime Trade allowing for swift approval by various authorities. This will reduce the waiting time for the vessels and goods in the ports up to by 40%. So this is your MSW portal that was the first of the two digital modules that were launched within Sagar Setu by Sarbandana Sonowal and MSW stands for Maritime Single Window Module. Now comes the second module that is your MMD module. This includes two core functionalities in the maritime mobile domain process. First, the vessel detention function. This will enable the MMD officials to monitor the status of the ships that are at the ports facilitating the planning of the vessel inspection right when they are docked when these ports uh, these ships will be docked at the ports so this with this particular mmt module will help us to vessel detention function and will help us to plan for the various inspection of those vessels right then second is the vessel release function this will be used by mmd to update the release status of the vessel signaling the readiness to depart the port that means whenever the ship will be on the verge of leaving the port right to go in its journey then this vessel release function will update the status of that vessel and will allow the port to deattach that particular ship or the port to depart correct so these are the two functionalities of this mmd module and we saw msw module they were both launched by saramandana sonobalji as you can see in the picture within sagar setu Correct. Apart from this, remember Swachta Pakwada Awards, right? During the events, Swachta Pakwada Awards were presented to Ministry of Port Shipping and Waterways Organization to recognize their outstanding contribution towards the cleanliness and sanitation initiative. This uh, Swachta Pakwada cleaning campaign, this was held from 1st to 15th of October 2023 and it witnessed a series of 62 events. On the first position, it was your Inland Waterways Authority of India. Second was your India Maritime University of Chennai, Tamil Nadu. And third came your Vishakapatnam Port of Vishakapatnam that is in Andhra Pradesh. Correct. So coming back here you can see our Union Minister Sarbandana Sonowal. Correct. Launched two digit power modules that were named Maritime Single Windows Module and your Mercantile Maritime Department Module within Sagar Setu that is your National Logistic Portal Marine Platform to transform and modernize the Indian ports. The launch event was attended by Minister of State Sripad Yeso Nayak, Minister of Port Shipping and Waterways and other senior officials also. Correct. So remember these two modules. Moving on then, who co-chaired the 12th Indian Oman GMCC meeting? So this was co-chaired by or this was chaired by Gridhar Aram, Armaneji. Correct. I repeat, our Defence Secretary, our Defence Secretary Giridhar Armane co-chaired the 12th India Oman JMCC meeting that was held where location is also important of this meeting that is in Muscat, Oman. Right. It was on 31st of January 2024. So coming back, remember, our Defence Secretary Giridhar Armane co-chaired the 12th India Oman JMCC meeting that was held in Muscat Oman in on 31st of January. Right. Giridhar Armane was on a two-day visit to Oman on 30th and 31st of January. And during the two-day visit, Giridhar Armane also held a bilateral talk with the Oman Secretary General. Then both the sides, India and Oman, they are discussing about various defense corporations, various trainings in the field of IT, oceanography, then shipbuilding and maintenance, also for their repair and haul purposes, correct? And also defense scenarios exchange on various regional and global issues were shared between these two counterparts. Next, if we talk about GMCC, what is this GMCC? GMCC is your Joint Military Corporation Committee. So this was the 12th India Oman Joint Military Cooperation Committee meeting that was held in Muscat Oman on 31st of January and from Indian side 
गिरिधर अरमा ने टुक पार्ट इन दिस नेक्स्ट जी आर एस सी अलॉन्ग विद विच ऑर्गेनाइजेशन साइंड अ फ्रेम एंड इंडिविजुअल लाइसेंस पैक्ट टू प्रोड्यूस एम टी यू सीरीज फोर थाउजेंड मरीन इंजन सो विच इज दैट ऑर्गेनाइजेशन विद विच जी आर एस सी साइंड अ फ्रेम एंड इंडिविजुअल लाइसेंस पैक्ट टू प्रोड्यूस एम टी यू सीरीज फोर थाउजेंड मरीन इंजन सो दिस वॉज डन बाय रॉल्स रॉयस राइट जी आर एस सी एंड रॉल्स रॉयस दिस साइंड दिस पैक्ट टूगेदर to produce these mtu series 4000 marine engines to power government ships correct and remember grsc this is a kolkata west bengal based war shipping building company and rolls royce is a british luxury automobile maker correct apart from this remember rolls royce they have also entered into a 7 year deal with azad engineering it will be with azad engineering correct and it is to develop various complex military aero engine components mark this and azad engineering this is a hyderabad telangana based company correct so two deals with rolls royce recently one is with grse and it is to produce mtu series 4000 marine engines and second is with azad engineering and it is a seven year deal to develop complex military aero engine components to mark this both are important next next here you can see rolls royce entered a seven year deal with azad engineering for complex military aero engine components and with this azad engineering is set to become the part of global supply chain for complex category components designated for rolls royce advanced aero engines next one more thing remember azad engineering is a former indian cricket captain sachin tendulkar backed company that operates in the aerospace and defense energy oil and gas industries next jay shah has been reappointed as the president of asian cricket council for which term so this will be the third term of jay shah as the president of acc that is asian cricket council so remember jay shah he is also the secretary of bcci right and recently he has been appointed as the president of asian cricket council for the third term right jay shah also secretary of bcci that is your board of control of cricket in india and he has been appointed as the president of asian cricket council for the third consecutive term next if we talk about asian cricket council right who is the president jay shah and it was formed in 1983 here you can see jay shah right he is son of amit shah our home minister next which bollywood actor became the brand ambassador of boat we all know boat boat is a brand that makes your smart watches your earphones correct headphones etc so recently ranveer singh not ranveer singh ranveer singh has became the brand ambassador of boat correct boat next here you can see bollywood actor ranveer singh became the brand ambassador of boat next science and technology recently green propulsion system developed under drdo tdf scheme demonstrates in orbit functionality i repeat indigenously developed green propulsion system based under the tdf that is technology development fund scheme of drdo has successfully demonstrated in orbit functionality of a payload launched by pslv c58 mission the project one project a1 n class green monopropellant thruster aimed at altitude control and orbit maintenance of the micro satellites was sanctioned to bangalore karnataka based startup balatrix aerospace private limited right next next remember if we are talking about environment icar and their arm nbfgr they discovers two new species of congred eels in tamil nadu and kerala i repeat two new species of eels were recently discovered 
from Tamil Nadu and Kerala and these are the researchers from ICAR that is Indian Council of Agriculture Research and National Bureau of Fish Genetic Resources that have identified two new species of this congrid eels right and they were discovered from Tamil Nadu and Kerala correct next next is related to sports Hello India Youth Games were recently held right and Maharashtra has topped the table with a total of 158 medals Hello India Youth Games correct and who topped here it is the Maharashtra state that has topped the medal tally correct who topped the medal tally here it was topped by Maharashtra with how many medals 158 medals so Coming back, remember, this was the 6th edition of the Khelo India Youth Games hosted by Tamil Nadu. Location is important. Where were these Khelo India Youth Games held? The 6th edition of the Khelo India Youth Games 2023, it were held in uh, Tamil Nadu. They were from 19 to 31st of January. And Maharashtra topped here with a total of 158 medals. Then Tamil Nadu was ranked 2nd and Haryana was on the 3rd position next next is in india finishes as runner-up in the fih hockey 5s women world cup so india secured second silver medal or second position or they were the runner-up at the fih women's or fih hockey 5s women world cup after losing to netherland in the final so netherland secured top position in the fih 5s hockey world cup and it was from 24th to 31st of january right next next is important days world wetland day observed on 2nd of feb so world wetland day annually observed across the globe on 2nd feb and it is to raise awareness about the important roles of wetlands in our ecosystem and the day also marks the date of adopting of the convention on wetlands on international importance that is ramsar convention right it was adopted ramsar convention it was adopted on 2nd feb 1971 in the iranian city of ramsars on the shores of the caspian sea the 2024 theme of the world wetland day is wetland and human well-being right this is your theme for the world wetland day observed on 2nd of Fab. Next is state news. Thanthai Periyar Wildlife Sanctuary declared as 18th Wildlife Sanctuary of Tamil Nadu. Take a note of this, which is the 18th Wildlife Sanctuary of Tamil Nadu. Thanthai Periyar Wildlife Sanctuary. Right? Mark this. Next. Next is Vistron and Karnataka government. They signed an MOU to establish laptop manufacturing unit near Bangalore. I repeat, the Karnataka government and Taiwan Waste Vistron Corporation, they signed a memorandum of understanding and it is to set up a first of its kind laptop manufacturing plant near Bangalore, Karnataka. Under this MOU, Vistron will invest 1500 crore rupees to set up this plant and the unit is expected to create around 3000 employment opportunities and this is in line with the industry 4.0 standards with a fully automated facility that would make laptops for all the brands and over 50 percent of the laptops manufactured from the unit will be exported and the plant will also produce iot components and ev related parts right next next is nagaland Nagaland state has celebrated the 4th edition of the annual Orange Festival. So, 4th edition of the annual Orange Festival was held under the theme Organic Orange. It was from 24th to 25th of January. It was held in the Rusoma village near Kohima in Nagaland. Right? Take a note of this. Correct? Next. So, friends, these are your important current affairs for the day. Now, one more thing remember, yes, Odisha's Chief Minister Naveen Patnaik inaugurated the 4th edition of the Chilka Bird Festival. So, Chilka Bird Festival, which edition was it? It was the 4th edition, observed in which state? Observed in the state of Odisha, correct? And this was to showcase the aviation biodiversity, that means the bird diversity of the Chilka Lake. So, National Chilka Bird Festival, right, inaugurated by Chief Minister of Odisha State, Naveen Patnaik, and this was the fourth edition of the National Chilka Bird Festival. 
then the first ever national chilka bird festival was observed in the state year 2018 so friends now we have completed our today's current affairs now let's move to one liner revision that will be beneficial for your learning union minister pralhad joshi launched c cares web portal of cmpfo union minister sarbandana sonowal launched two digital modules within sagar setu then defense secretary giridhar armane co-chaired the 12th india oman gncc meeting grse signed an mou with rolls royce and it is for frame and individual license pack to produce mtu license 4000 marine engines then jaysha has been reappointed as the president of asian cricket council for the third term Bollywood actor Ranveer Singh became the brand ambassador of Boat Company. Green propulsion system developed under DRTO, a uh, DRDO TDF scheme demonstrates in orbit functionality. ICAR NBFGR has discovered two new species of congrid eels in Tamil Nadu and Kerala. Khelo India Youth Games were held recently and Maharashtra has secured the top position with 158 medals. then indian finishes as runner up in the fih hockey 5s women's world cup netherlands secured the top position world wetlands day on 2nd february tanthai periyar wildlife sanctuary declared as the 18th wildlife sanctuary of tamil nadu western and karnataka government they signed an mou to establish a laptop manufacturing facility near bangalore then karnataka celebrated the fourth edition of the annual orange festival Odisha's Chief Minister Navin Patnaik inaugurated fourth National Chilka Bird Festival. So these are your current affairs for the day, friends. If you find the session interesting, do like the video and comment below and let us know what are your views for the same. Now let's move to some revision part that will be beneficial for your learning. Indian Army conducted the inaugural test firing of 70 mm rockets and 20 mm turret guns of its light combat helicopter Dash in both day and night condition. So. Indian Army conducted the test of the firing of this 70 mm rockets and 20 mm turret guns from their light combat helicopter Prachand. So the Prachand, it is the light combat helicopter that was used to test this 70 mm rocket and 20 mm turret gun. Next, which company recently set up a center of excellence to provide training in railway signalling and telecommunication systems in New Delhi? It is Railtel Corporation of India Limited. They have set up a center of excellence to provide training in railway signalling and telecommunication systems in New Delhi. Correct. Here, remember, they have also tied up with various IITs and IIMs to provide or for skilling. Next, name the institute of CSIR that has recently signed an MOU with Hindustan Aeronautics Limited to collaborate in India's aerospace and defence sector. it is national institute for interdisciplinary science and technology right they have recently signed an mou correct this is an institute of csir and they have signed an mou with hindustan aeronautics limited to collaborate in india space and defense sectors next name the center institute center on institute that has recently developed a new energy efficient technology for converting carbon dioxide to carbon monoxide so co2 will be converted into carbon monoxide question asked is which is that center they have developed a technology for the same it is national center of excellence in carbon capture and utilization they have developed this technology to convert carbon dioxide into carbon monoxide next the spear corps the aviation unit of the indian army they successfully test fired the new generation rocket and turret ammunition from the first indigenous attack helicopter that was named rudra right so the spear corps the aviation unit of the indian army they have tested this is also important you need to remember the name here that which aviation unit of indian army the spear corps aviation unit of indian army successfully test fired the new generation rocket and turret ammunition from the indigenous helicopter that is rudra next NASA they have launched two stage black brand nine sounding rocket as a part of infuse mission from white sands missile range in new new mexico usa it is question asked here is that in the infuse mission what does i stands for so we can have to learn the full form of this infuse mission what is infuse integral field ultraviolet spectroscopic experiment mission i repeat integral field ultraviolet spectroscopic experiment so i here stands for integral right 
and the mission aims to study sinus loop that is a 20000 year old supernova remnant that is located 2600 light years away from the earth and this sinus loop is also known as veil nebula just for information in which country asian india millet festival was recently organized by ministry of agriculture and farmers welfare along with indian mission to asian so in which country indian asian uh, asian india millet festival was organized recently it was organized in indonesia correct and this festival was inaugurated to in south korea south jakarta indonesia right and as the name suggests it is a millet festival so this is to create awareness about the use of millets and millet based products among the asian member states so friends these were your international affairs now let's move to some science and technology questions first which country has recently approved the world's first passenger carrying flying taxi that is e hang 216 s it is china as the name suggests e hang 216 s this is a world's first passenger carrying flying taxi approved by china next mumbai division of central railways commissioned the block provision by excel dash system to enhance the rail safety in the washind asangao section of the thane district in maharashtra so basically bpac this full form of this bpac system is being asked so bpac stands for block provision by excel counter correct and this bpac system counts the number of axles of wheels of trains coaches passed in a particular section correct it ensures 100 percent safety to avoid more than one number of trains in a particular section between the two signals so we can say this is a to avoid train collision this bpsa system was launched next is padma shri awardee leela omchari a musicologist a writer recently passed away in november question asked this in which year did she receive padma shri award in the field of arts so it was in 2009 she received this padma shri in the field of arts in 2009 and she recently passed away at the age of 98 in new delhi she was born in 1929 tamil nadu correct next and she also received the kerala sangeet natak academy award in 1991 next dhurba narayan ghosh that is dn ghosh former chairman that is the 12th former chairman of dash bank recently passed away so 12th former chairman of sbi bank state bank of india recently passed away right dn ghosh correct he served as the chairman of sbi from 1985 till 1989 and he recently passed away in kolkata at the age of 95 in kolkata west bengal next in november subarta roy the founder and chairman of dash company passed away so subarta roy recently and he was very famous for his company sahara india right this company turned out to be a failure but remember subarta roy the founder and chairman of sahara india parivar recently passed away and he is the founder and chairman of lucknow up correct and he passed away at the age of 75 in mumbai maharashtra next which country has recently withdrawn from the treaty on conventional armed forces in europe it is russia right and remember this treaty was signed by 23 participating nations belonging to nato and warsaw treaty organization it was signed in 1990 in paris and it aims to stop usa from building up forces that could be used in swift assault and russia has withdrawn from this treaty recently correct and the reason was because of russia thinks because of the nato's eastward expansion and it is a threat to their security that is the reason they have withdrawn from this treaty next which country has recently signed two agreements with india to boost youth mobility and cultural exchange and we have done this question multiple times it is with italy next in which city al dafra solar photovoltaic independent power project that is the world's largest single site solar power plant has been inaugurated in november it is abu dhabi ua right in abu dhabi al dafra solar photovoltaic independent power project that is the world's largest single site solar power plant that is inaugurated in november 
नेक्स्ट इज यू एन ए पी यूनाइटेड नेशन इन्वायरमेंट प्रोग्राम दे हैज दे हैव रिलीज द फोर्टीन एडिशन ऑफ द एमिशंस गैप रिपोर्ट ब्रोकन रिकॉर्ड टेम्परेचर्स हिट न्यू हाई येट वर्ल्ड फेल्स टू कट एमिशंस अगेन इन नवंबर एज पर द फोर्टीन एडिशन ऑफ द एमिशन गैप्स रिपोर्ट वर्ल्ड मस्ट रिड्यूस द ग्रीन हाउस गैस एमिशंस बाय एटलीस्ट ट्वेंटी एट टू फोर्टी टू परसेंट बाय डैश ईयर टू लिमिट द ग्लोबल वार्मिंग टू टू डिग्री सेल्सियस एंड वन पॉइंट फाइव डिग्री सेल्सियस रिस्पेक्टली एज पर द परसेंटेज कट सो रिमेंबर दिस एमिशंस द कटिंग ऑफ दीज ग्रीन हाउस एमिशंस बाय ट्वेंटी एट परसेंट और फोर्टी टू परसेंट शुड बी बाय ट्वेंटी थर्टी इन ऑर्डर टू लिमिट द ग्लोबल वार्मिंग टू टू डिग्री सेल्सियस एंड वन पॉइंट फाइव डिग्री सेल्सियस रिस्पेक्टिवली right and because of this we are seeing the rise in temperature the climate change and if we want to prevent it and slower the risk of the climate degradation then we need to achieve this target next which country's angkor wat has recently became the eighth wonder of the world so remember angkor wat is of cambodia and it became the eighth wonder of the world next name the international organization that recently signed an mou with india to strengthen semiconductor supply chain and joint pursue innovation it is european union right european union and india they recently signed an mou to strengthen the semiconductor supply chain in india correct mark this which company has recently became the first indian original equipment manufacturer to unveil an in house lng engine named avtr 1922 so it is ashok leland right ashok leland is the company that became the first oem manufacturer to unveil the in house lng engine named avtr 1922 next name the ministry that has recently launched aina dashboard for cities portal so which is that ministry that has launched this aina dashboard for cities portal it is ministry of housing and urban affairs they have recently launched this portal to create a database of the key performance metrics of the urban local bodies right and this is to basically help the cities to participate and make the cities developed clean and also to provide insight to the decision makers next which company along with spacex recently launched the dragons 29th commercial reuse supply service mission to the international space station through falcon 9 rocket from florida usa it is nasa right nasa is the company along with spacex they have launched this dragons 29th commercial resupply service mission to international space station next which ministry has recently launched dashboard for real time prompt and effective parliament business it is ministry of science and technology right they have launched this dashboard for real time prompt and effective parliament business next DOT Department of Telecommunications under the Ministry of Communication granted the requisitic license to Dash Company and Utilsat OneWeb. So remember, Department of Telecommunication that comes under the Ministry of Communication granted the requisitic license to Geo Satellites Communication Limited, right? And it along with Utilsat OneWeb. Correct. Mark this. This is a type of a license that will allow the companies to provide internet access. bandwidth and related services to the consumers as well as businesses next name the fourth anti submarine warfare shallow warcraft that was launched by indian navy in chennai tamil nadu its name is amini right amini is the name of the fourth anti submarine warfare shallow warcraft that was launched by indian navy in chennai tamil nadu next in november dash became the first firm to receive the authorizations from in space for satellite broadband services in india what is the name of that company it is oneweb india correct it became the first firm to receive the authorization from in space for satellite broadband services in india to provide satellite connection satellite internet to the remote areas in india and oneweb this is a uk based booker prize winning british author dame antonio susan byt passed away in november her book dash won the booker prize for fiction in 1990 so what is the name of her book possession or romance her book this possession or romance won the booker prize for fiction in 1990 correct and she recently passed away her name is dame antonio susan byt next in november dash the former 18th governor of rbi bank passed away so 
सुब्रमण्यम वेंकटरमन रिसेंटली पास्ड अवे ही वॉज द एटीन गवर्नर फॉर्मर एटीन गवर्नर ऑफ आर बी आई ही वॉज बॉर्न इन नाइनटीन थर्टी वन इन तमिलनाडु नेक्स्ट पदमा वॉडी एंड एन एमिनेंट विट्रो रेटिनल सर्जन डैश द फाउंडर ऑफ संकरा नेत्रालय अकेडमी पास्ट अवे सो एस एस बद्रीनाथ राइट एस एस बद्रीनाथ पदमा वॉडी एंड एमिनेंट विट्रो रेटिनल सर्जन एस एस बद्रीनाथ द फाउंडर ऑफ शंकरा नेत्रालय अकेडमी रिसेंटली पास्ट अवे एट द एज ऑफ एटी थ्री इन चेन्नई तमिलनाडु एंड रिमेंबर इन टू थाउजेंड टेन ही बिकेम द फर्स्ट इंडियन टू रिसीव द डॉक्टरेट ऑफ साइंस अवार्ड दट इज होनोरिस कौसा अवार्ड नेक्स्ट इन नवंबर ट्वेंटी थ्री डैश मिस्टर इंडिया टाइटल होल्डर इन नाइनटीन सेवेंटी एंड बॉडी बिल्डर ऑफ मणिपुर पास अवे सो नॉन्ग थोम्बम माई पाक राइट मिस्टर इंडिया टाइटल होल्डर ऑफ नाइनटीन सेवेंटी एंड बॉडी बिल्डर ऑफ मणिपुर रिसेंटली पास अवे नेक्स्ट इन नवंबर जस्टिस डैश फर्स्ट वीमेन जज ऑफ द सुप्रीम कोर्ट ऑफ इंडिया एंड फॉर्मर गवर्नर ऑफ तमिलनाडु पास अवे एम फातिमा बीवी फर्स्ट वीमेन जज ऑफ सुप्रीम कोर्ट ऑफ इंडिया एंड फॉर्मर गवर्नर ऑफ तमिलनाडु पास अवे एट द एज ऑफ नाइन्टी सिक्स इन कोलम केरला शी वॉज बॉर्न इन नाइनटीन ट्वेंटी सेवन इन केरला एंड शी वॉज द फर्स्ट मुस्लिम वीमेन जज टू बी अपॉइंटेड टू एनी हायर जुडिशरी नेक्स्ट अ रियोंड इंडियन वायलोनिस्ट अ रियोंड इंडियन वायलोनिस्ट एंड कार्नेटिक म्यूजिशियन डैश रिसेंटली पास अवे सो बी शशि कुमार अ रियोंड इंडियन वायलोनिस्ट एंड कार्नेटिक म्यूजिशियन रिसेंटली पास अवे एट द एज ऑफ सेवेंटी फोर इन त्रिवंतपुरम केरला एंड ही वॉज बॉर्न इन थिरुवल्ला इन केरला ओनली नेक्स्ट रियोंड गुजराती फोटो जर्नलिस्ट एंड पद्मश्री अवॉर्डी जेवरीलाल दाल पात्रा मेहता पास दवे इन नवंबर इन विच ईयर डिड ही रिसीव पद्मश्री अवार्ड इन द फील्ड ऑफ लिटरेचर एंड एजुकेशन ही रिसीव दिस अवार्ड इन द ईयर टू थाउजेंड एटीन ही पास दवे एट द एज ऑफ नाइन्टी सेवन इन अहमदाबाद गुजरात एंड ही रिसीव पद्मश्री इन टू थाउजेंड एटीन डी आर डी ओ अनाउंस दैट इंडिया इज सेट टू डेवलप इजराइल्स आयरन डोम सिस्टम लाइक लॉन्ग रेंज सरफेस टू एयर मिसाइल सिस्टम अंडर प्रोजेक्ट डैश वी नो आयरन डोम सिस्टम राइट इट हैज प्रोटेक्टेड इजराइल फ्रॉम मल्टीपल मिसाइल्स करेक्ट अ सिमिलर सिस्टम लाइक दिस आयरन डोम विल बी बिल्ट बाय डी आर डी ओ फॉर इंडिया दिस विल बी अ सरफेस टू एयर मिसाइल सिस्टम एंड दिस विल बी डेवलप्ड अंडर विच प्रोजेक्ट इट विल बी अंडर प्रोजेक्ट कुशा करेक्ट मार्क दिस and this system will be deployed by the year 2028 to 2029 padma vibhushan awardee prithvi raj singh obroy the doyen of indian hospitality hospitality recently passed away so padma vibhushan awardee prithvi raj singh obroy the doyen of indian hospitality recently passed away question asked here is in which field did he receive padma vibhushan award in 2008 so in the field of trade and industry he received this padma vibhushan award in 2008 prs that is prithvi raj singh obroy correct and he is the chairman of obroy group he passed away at the age of 94 in new delhi and he is known famously for the doyen of indian hospitality next padmanabha balakrishnan acharya former governor of dash state In the period of July two thousand fourteen to July two thousand nineteen, recently passed away. So Padmana ba, Padmana Bha Ach, Bala Krishna Acharya, P B Acharya ji, he was the former governor of Nagaland who recently passed away. Next, the renowned art historian and Padma Awardi Brijendra Nath Goswami passed away in November. In which field did he receive Padma Bhushan Award in two thousand eight? So remember. Brijendra Nath Goswami, he passed away, and he received uh, he passed away recently, right? And he received Padma Award when in two thousand eight. Now question asked here is that in which field did he received? He received this award in the field of literature and education. Correct. He was born in nineteen thirty three. Correct. Now in Punjab province of Pakistan, he received Padma Shri in nineteen ninety eight. पद्मा भूषण इन टू थाउजेंड 
एट बोथ इन द फील्ड ऑफ लिटरेचर एंड एजुकेशन नेक्स्ट इज इंडियन आर्मी इंडियन आर्मी सेट टू इंडक्ट द हर्मीज नाइन हंड्रेड स्टार लाइन एंड ड्रोन दैट इज अ मल्टी रोल मीडियम ऑल्टीट्यूड लॉन्ग एंड्योरेंस अनमेंड एयरक्राफ्ट सिस्टम फ्रॉम एल्बिट सिस्टम डिफेंस कंपनी ऑफ डैश कंट्री सो दिस एल्बिट सिस्टम रिमेंबर दिस इज अ कंपनी ऑफ इसराइल राइट एंड इन नवंबर इंडियन आर्मी सेट टू इंडक्ट द हर्मीज नाइन हंड्रेड स्टार लाइनर ड्रोन दैट इज अ मल्टी रोल मीडियम ऑल्टीट्यूड लॉन्ग एंड्योरेंस मेल दिस इज मेल वॉट इज मेल मीडियम ऑल्टीट्यूड लॉन्ग एंड्योरेंस यू ए एस अनमेंड एयरक्राफ्ट सिस्टम फ्रॉम एल्बिट सिस्टम एंड एल्बिट सिस्टम इज ऑफ विच कंट्री इट इज ऑफ इसराइल विच ऑर्गेनाइजेशन और कंपनीज कॉर्पोरेट सोशल रिस्पॉन्सिबिलिटी पोर्टल हैज बीन लॉन्च बाय प्रवीण कुमारी सिंह एडिशनल सेक्रेटरी ऑफ सी वी सी इन नवंबर सो दिस सी एस आर पोर्टल ऑफ विच कंपनी हैज बीन लॉन्च बाय प्रवीण कुमारी सिंह एडिशनल सेक्रेटरी ऑफ सी वी सी सो इट इज आई आर ई डी ए इंडियन रिन्यूएबल एनर्जी डेवलपमेंट एजेंसीज नेक्स्ट इज आर होमवर्क सेक्शन फर्स्ट मार्तंड सन टेम्पल रिसेंटली इन न्यूज इज लोकेटेड इन विच स्टेट सेकेंड वॉट इज द प्राइमरी हैबिटेट ऑफ ब्लैक क्राउंड नाइट हिरॉन दैट वॉज रिसेंटली इन न्यूज थर्ड रिसेंटली विच प्लेयर वन द वीमेन्स सिंगल टाइटल एट द ऑस्ट्रेलियन ओपन ट्वेंटी फोर्थ क्लाइगनार स्पोर्ट्स किट स्कीम रिसेंटली इन द न्यूज इज लॉन्च बाय विच स्टेट एंड फिफ्थ वॉट इज वर्ल्ड टाइफून रिसेंटली मैंशन इन द न्यूज so these are your five homework question friends and i need to see maximum participation from all the students watching this video and do share the link of this video with your friends cousins relatives neighbors and let them know about this interesting platform that's all for the day friends i hope you enjoyed the session and you can follow us on the youtube channel as well as apart from youtube channel you can go and follow us at affairs cloud telegram channel and if you have any queries related to the content or the of course is offered to you or the payment which you did on the application you can contact us on the number provided that is 76773362 apart from this friends you can follow us on the facebook as well as on instagram handle that is affairs cloud underscore official in the end friends if you use a code that is vikas10 you will be getting an additional extra 10% discount by using this code vikas10 also if you have any problem regarding the course purchase any problem regarding to our application you can contact us on the mobile number that is 9677333862 and if you want to mail us you can also mail us on support@affairscloud.com and i assure you that our representative from us will be contacting you soon and resolving your issue 